to YouTube channel of Kanak Info System. In this video, I will show you the flow of GRM for good in transit as well as, in, as well as internal transfer to transfer goods, stocks from main warehouse to child warehouse. First of all, I will show you process and flow of GRM. For that, I will go in our purchase module. I will create a new purchase orders. Here I will select a vendors. I will select a product confirm I will confirm this order so a receipt has been generated now this in this receipt it is in ready state so this is stock in transition now we will validate this receipt so for our respective purchase order a receipt has been created now we will create our bill to confirm this bill we have to select bill date i will select of today and i will confirm it so our purchase order has been created successfully now for internal transfer i will go in our inventory in inventory i will show i have created two warehouse one is main warehouse which is called as wh and another is child warehouse which short name is CW we can see that in our location CW is also internal location and WH is also our internal location now I will go in operation internal I will create a new internal transfer from here contact I will select and we will select a product which is currently available in our parent or main warehouse the operation type will be main internal transfer as we are moving stocks from main to child source location will be our main and destination location will be our child one demand unit will be 5 unit we will validate this so internal transfer has been created successfully now we, we can check in our location in our internal location we can see these current stocks so first of all it was 5 now it has been updated to 10 thank you